Hey, hey, everybody, and welcome back to our paycheck breakdown and cash envelope stuffing for the third week of July. So we have already went and pulled out all the cash that we need to stuff our envelopes. We have our monthly planner here from Erin Condren. We're going to flip to July and on over to our paycheck breakdown here. All right, first thing we're going to do is see how much income was that came in for this week and then budget it out and see how much we have. These are the fun ones down here to see what's gonna go into those. So let's go ahead and get started. So this week, James's check was 921. We're gonna use red. I was gonna alternate between red and blue. <laughs> Nine. That is not gonna show, it's fine. 98. And then nothing from me and no other. So 921, 98, two cents. Two cents and it could have been an even number, right? <laughs> All right, so for the cars, we're putting the 184. For rent and groceries, it's gonna get 120. For gas, we are adding 90. Utilities and Allstate both get 60. Allstate, or no, AT&T, it's getting 50. Storage, student loans, pest control, and miscellaneous are fully funded. Spending, we are gonna be adding 30. Sinking funds, we're gonna put 140. Savings, 10. Debt is getting 50. And then we left $7 in the cushion. So that totals us at our 921 there so that is awesome now that we know where everything is going to go we're going to set this to the side all right so we're going to lay out our cash and be right back all right so our bills are laid out let's pull our 52 agenda here this one here has all of our bills and expenses um the bills that we pay and then whatever cash envelopes are in here and we stuff these first they're very important, so let's get started. So cars, we will fund this week. So that's 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, and then four. So that's 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this one here we pay every two weeks to work on that one. Rent, 120, so 1, 20, C. All right, one, two, three, 20, 40, 60. So 360 towards our rent. Groceries, 120. Giving us one, two, three, 20, 40, 60. 360 for groceries as well. Gas, we need 90, so 20. All right, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, perfect. So we have 51, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 70. So 270 dollars towards our gas. Utilities is our power and water getting 60 dollars. 20, 40, 60. Now at 51, 20, 40, 60, 80. So 180 and we might have to kind of play around because water did go up a little bit. So we have to keep an eye on that and make sure the $80 is still going to cover that. If not, we need to go flip flop a little bit. Allstate 60, 20, 40, 60. We are. All right, gives us 51, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80. So 180 for Allstate. AT&T is getting 50, 20, 40, and 50. All right, so we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 40, 50. So 150 towards our AT&T. Covers our phone and internet. No, they are not bundled or anything. So there's that. Storage is done, student loans pest control, 
miscellaneous spending we are adding 30 so 20 30 Right, so that is 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90. So 90 dollars towards our spending for me and hubby. So there's all of those. Now we are going to move over to our black one here and it has our debt and savings. So we're going to be adding 50 dollars to our debt 20, 40, 45, 50. Let's see what that puts us. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 800, 5, 10, 11. So we have $811 now in our debt snowball, which is awesome. All right, and savings, we are adding 10, so 5, 10. Now we have $40 towards savings. All right, so there's those. Those are the only ones you stuff in there. And then lastly, we have our sinking funds. As you can tell, we have another big bill. So let me show y'all. We are gonna be stuffing car tax. We're gonna be adding the $100 into car tax. And that'll give us 1, 2, 3, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300, no, 400, caught on. All right, so car tax now has 1, 2, 3, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 400, 5, 6, 7, 8. So $408. I'm really hoping we're either really close or over now what we need. So that is my happy thing <laughs> all right so there's that one and then we need to fund we want to fund car maintenance 10 because we have 40 left so we're gonna do 10 10 to car maintenance, giving us 20, 30, 35, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4. So four, 44 in car maintenance. We're slowly adding this up for breaks for James. And then dance. We're going to add 10. So there's 10. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 20, 30. 40, 50, 60, 65, 70. So 470 towards dance. All right. And then the last one is going to be birthdays. Alexis has her birthday coming up, and we just kind of made the plans for, for, for it. We're actually going to do it at my uncle's. He's got a pool, so we're going to do a pool party. So... Luckily, that's going to be free there. We'll just have to do like presents and food. So like cake, ice cream if we're going to do food because swimming, kids, yep, you need something to eat. So let's see what we have. We have 1, 2, 3, 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48. So 348, I definitely want to have at least another 100 in here. We have about three. So... That is what we're doing for birthdays. I'd like to have a little more. We have three, oh, God, three Fridays before her party and her birthday. Her birthday is the first weekend in August, so I'm super excited. I'm gonna have a, God, is she gonna be seven? Oh. Anyways, anyways. But we have stuffed all of our categories for our sinking funds that we're stuffing. We have kind of a, a list. I made kind of a, a priority list. So we're using this and kind of funding what we need. I definitely need to get back to school funded up a lot too. I'm hoping car tags is good. I'm really hoping we're good on that. Um, and then we can slowly add to car maintenance. But school and birthdays and dance are definitely like our top three right now. So I might even kind of... 
do some adjustments. Let's see. Depending on how much our utilities are in August, hopefully they come due before then. I can might add some extra from that and just only keep like a $200 limit on there. But that is what we have for this video. We got our envelopes for our sinking fund stuff. Our debt were over $800. That is amazing. I could always take from debt and fund up those categories as well, which is definitely an option. I want to pay our debt down, but we do have other things coming up. Um, I don't want to be limited on things that we're able to do just because we're trying to pay off debt as well. We are still making our minimum payments and taking care of it that way. The extra is what it is, it's extra. So that's always an option. I hate to do it, but if it needs to be done, I can just move it into a sinking fund that we need it for and then keep working on it. So and when we have all of our bill stuff, we have two more Fridays for the month of July to finish funding all of our bills and expenses for August. So we're so close to the end of this month, or halfway through this month, shall we say, to get these finished funding. So I'm hoping there's some extra, because I have, I should be getting a YouTube check next week. It should come through before next payday for James. So hopefully that comes through and we'll kind of add even a little extra then. But I really hope that y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this kind of content. I love to hear any of y'all's feedback or how are y'all doing on your budget. I love to hear all of that in the comments. So don't forget to subscribe, comment, share the video. I love growing the community and sharing my budgeting, how I budget for our family. And I can't wait to catch y'all in the next video. Bye-bye now.